Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, guys, to the Foose Barrett Public School Board Office. My name is Dean Gidry. I am the communication specialist for the district and also in charge of honoring our students of the year. Before we get started, let's just give them all a big round of applause. Pardon me, I'm going to turn my back on you. I have, to, I have to give them instructions, okay? And then I'll introduce it to our superintendent. All right, guys, congratulations. I'm so glad that you guys made it, okay? All the way from wherever you had to come from. All right, so tonight, this is what we're going to do. You guys, your names are going to be called by, by our supervisory staff, Miss Nancy Curell, okay, Miss Nancy, and Mr. Kenny Delcom. They're going to call your name. You're going to come up here. You're going to greet the superintendent and our board president, Ms. Brooke Huddleston. When you get here, they're going to hand you your trophy. I want you to look at that camera, that iPhone, and I want you to wave because people at home are watching you. Okay? <laughs> and then turn around and face the crowd, and I'll take a picture of you okay. with the board president and the superintendent. Got it? Can we do it? Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> Got it? Yes. Awesome. Let's do it. Okay, without any further ado, let me introduce you to our new superintendent, Mr. Jared Martin. So, if I had any real authority, I'd dial up better weather for everybody driving to Thibodeau tonight. But thank you all for being here. Um, all the amazing kids we have are, are a testament to the hard work that so many of you have put in to your children and the uh, sacrifices that you all make. I was just talking to Ms. Bourgeois about my wife and I's commitment to our own children and what that means, driving them to piano, dance, cheer, soccer, fill in the blank, right? So this has been your life for so long, but this is the culmination of all your work and their work. So tonight is a celebration. Being here uh, amongst these special kids is what it's all about, and I know the board is elated as well as I am. So thank you all for coming share this celebration of talent that we have in Lafouche Parish, and let's get started. All right. will come up here and as soon as we're ready to go, you guys can start with the name call. Okay. Good evening. I have the distinct honor of recognizing the 2019-20 LaFouche Parish School District Elementary <coughs> School Student of the Year winners, Miss Madeline Ellis.
students in here from Mighty Blue Middle School, Haley Saban, daughter of Jai and Harriet Saban. Son 
front of Zachary and Jennifer Woodward.
Parish Student of the Year. Evan Louvier. <laughs>
Motion passes unanimously. Approval of insurance committee recommendations as per meeting held January 22nd, 2020. Mr. Barry Plazos. A to approve the removal quote from John Norris in column number eight for the total proposed premium of $296,841 and to reject uninsured motorists, reject terrorism coverage, and to authorize the superintendent to sign all documents related to the removal. So Motion by Mr. Barry Plazos, second by Mr. Ray Bernard. Is there any public participation? Any board conversation? If not, we'll vote. <coughs> Motion passes unanimously. B to approve Mr. Norris's recommendation to include endorsements to ensure protection on construction projects and use of facilities. So Motion by Mr. Barry Plazos, second by Ms. Marion Petita. Is there any public participation? <coughs> any board discussion? If not, we'll vote. <coughs> Motion passes unanimously. C, to approve the one-year contract with Norris Risk Management, LLC, commencing on February 8, 2020, to provide liability insurance consulting and verification services with an annual fee of $36,909. So moved. Motion by Mr. Barry Plazos, second by Mr. Tyler Dufresne. Is there any public participation? Any board discussion? If not, we'll vote. <coughs> Motion passes unanimously. Four, approval of finance committee recommendations as per meeting held January 22nd, 2020. Dr. Mary Bro. A, to award the highest scored proposal received from Transformex for E-rate Category 2 products and services for a 36-month term with two 12-month voluntary extensions. So moved. Motion by Dr. Mary Bro, second by Mr. Al Archer. Is there any public participation? Any discussion from the board? If not, we'll vote. Motion passes unanimously. Five, approval of superintendent's evaluation <coughs> committee recommendations as per meeting held January 23rd, 2020. Ms. Mary Petito. Yes, um, after the meeting of the, uh, the committee, the evaluation committee, the following changes were approved. Um, as we looked at the uh, form and we realized that there was <coughs> no column for not observe. So that, if you looked at the, at the uh, attachment to this item, this agenda item, You'll see that it now has a no, not observed um, column to the left of number four. Of course, this this will not be calculated into the score. So we the the directions say that you know, we will total the, the total up the um, standards and then we would divide by the um, excuse me we would total up the um, all of the um, well they're called the um, <coughs> indicators excuse me all of the indicators and then divide by the number. But if you have a zero, that number will not be calculated. So we might be divided by 10 in some cases, but then in nine by, in other cases. So that, that gives us a little more leeway as um, if you do not observe. Of course, we're gonna talk some more about it, 
how you should be able to see all of the indicators somewhere along the line in the, in the six months' time. Also, the rating scale in the back, uh, this is Mr. Dufran's uh, suggestion that it mirror the, um, the scale of it, it reflects the scale that it used by the, the teacher evaluation. So those changes were made to the highly effective, proficient, emerging, and ineffective. Um, also, um, we would we have all of the um, the page in the back. The glossary is not included because we're going to the committee is going to go back and talk about that uh, to give give a, an idea to give the board some direction as to what highly efficient and, and all of those are proficient and all actually mean. And so we'll talk about that, and also we'll be working with Dean to come up with a. Um, Plus, um, an Excel spreadsheet so that when we do the evaluation, we'll be able to do it in a worksheet. It'll tally it up for you and, and divide it, and, and the uh, answer, well, the amount will be right there. So, it'll make it much easier. And so, that will be part of our next meeting. And um, so, anyway, I would like for um, you to give consideration to the changes that we have discussed and approved by committee. So the motion is to approve the revisions to the superintendent's evaluation form and rating scale. Correct. Moved by, motion by Ms. Mary Petita, second by Ms. The, Ms. Valerie Bourgeois. Is there any public participation? Any board discussion? If not, we'll vote. Motion passes unanimously. Five, um, excuse me, six, approval of policy <coughs> committee recommendations as per meeting held January 23rd, 2020. Mr. Ray uh, Yeah, Madam President, the uh, following, following policies have been reviewed by our committee and have been approved by our legal advisor. Uh, I would like, if, with your permission, I'd like to read all three of them together, and if there are any questions, you can stop as we go through this. Uh, uh, policy GAEAA, sexual harassment, GBN, dismissal of employees, and GBRL, holidays. I move they be accepted as read. Motion by Mr. Ray Bernard, second by Mr. Barry Claysons. Is there any public participation? Any board discussion? If not, we'll vote. <clears throat> Motion passes unanimously. Seven, approval of land and facilities management committee recommendations as per meeting held January 23rd, 2020. Mr. Randy Schwess. Uh, thank you, Madam President. A, to accept a change order to add seven additional days to the contract, six for November 2019 and one for December 2019 due to the inclement weather for re-roofing project at WS Authority Elementary School. So move. Motion by Mr. Randy Schwess, second by Mr. Barry Claysons. Is there any public participation? Any board discussion? Mr. Plazons? Thank you, Madam President. I'd just like to say the contracts, I, I said this in the Land and Facilities Committee meeting, thank you, because these extra seven days, although it sounds like a lot, considering the weather that we had in November and December, I mean, you probably could have asked for triple that, probably got. So, again, thank you to the contract for doing the work. <coughs> thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Plazons. Any other board comments? If not, we'll vote. <coughs> Motion passes unanimously. B, to accept a change order in the amount not to exceed 25000 for the extra material and labor plus an additional five days to be added to the contract in order to fill the low spots on the existing roof for the re-roofing project at WS LaFarge Elementary School and take appropriate action. So moved. Motion by Mr. Randy Schwess, second by Ms. Tina Bavis. Is there any public participation? Any board discussion? 
If not, we'll vote. Motion passes unanimously. C. To accept the request from Ms. Angela Wensdale to waive the use of facilities fee for the American Cancer Society to hold a dance on March 20, 2020 at Galliano Elementary School and take appropriate action. So move. Motion by Mr. Randy Schwess, second by Dr. Mary Broach. Is there any public participation? Any board discussion? If not, we'll vote. Accept the high bid in the amount of $1,000 annually, $10.75 per acre from Matthew Richardale for hunting and fishing privileges on section 27 and 33, comma, Township 16 South, comma, Range 21 East, Lake Salvador area. So moved. Motion by Mr. Randy Schwess, second by Mr. Henry LaFont. Is there any public participation? <clears throat> any board discussion? If not, we'll vote. Motion passes unanimously. E, to accept the high bid in the amount of $500 annually from Mr. Gerald Gadry for campsite privileges BR-7 on section 16, comma, Township 19 South, comma, range 22 East, by Raphael area. So moved. Motion by Mr. Randy Schwess, <coughs> second by Mr. Al Archer. Is there any public participation? Any board discussion? If not, we'll vote. Motion passes unanimously. F, to authorize to advertise for bids when co contract documents are complete for the demolition of the old the Rose Upper Elementary School two-story building. So moved. Motion by Mr. Randy Schwess, second <coughs> by Mr. Raven Orr. Is there any public participation? <laughs> <laughs> any more participation? Yes, sir. I didn't mean for the statue written in order. I'm just joking, everyone. You were definitely being discussed. He was the first we'll principal the there. Fun, <laughs> if not, we'll vote. <laughs> Motion passes unanimously. G, to authorize to advertise for bids when contract documents are complete for the safety renovations project, safety tax five, at Central LaFouche High School and South LaFouche High School. So moved. Motion by Mr. Randy Schwess, second by Mr. Barry Plazons. Is there any public participation? Any board discussion? If not, we'll vote. received for a five-year term for grass cutting services to Greenscape, Greenscape of Louisiana for the services for Central and South LaFouche areas and to 4 contracting group for the North LaFouche areas. So moved. Motion by Ms. Ms. Randy Schwess, second by Ms. Cheryl Thomas. Is there any public participation? <coughs> any board discussion? 
If not, we'll vote. <clears throat> Motion passes unanimously. Eight, to receive advisory committee recommendations as per meeting held February 3rd, 2020. Ms. Tina Babin. Yes, um, I would like to request a report on board member compensation. Um, currently, it's very concerning that um, there's a lot of misinformation to the public stating about salaries, retirement, insurance benefits, and income services. Um, I feel it would be essential to remind the public that we are continuing to work toward deduction, have cut much of the compensation, and we have a top priority for the tax being passed in May. Thank you, Ms. Babin. Um, Mr. Mort, would you like to comment on that? Yeah, I just want to echo what she said. You know, um, the board has moved from a compensation package of $800 a month to $400 a month, has removed health insurance benefits, has turned in laptops, and does not have internet service at their home. So the elected board members that are in this room tonight do not represent folks that are being paid uh, anything more than $400 a month. In the case of the president, I believe it's $500 a month. Um, and so I think it's important to remind the public that as we move forward towards seeking a sales tax in May, because many times there's, there's misconceptions about our elected officials. So to clarify that, I think it's a good idea. Thank you very much, Mr. Morton. <coughs> Nine, new business. Eight, introduce new administrators, Mr. Jared Morton. Uh, yes, so we have two administrators that are new to the positions that they're serving in at their respective schools. Uh, <coughs> the first administrator I'd like to introduce is somebody I've worked side by side with for a while now and she's going to be the new assistant principal at Central Lafourche High School. Um, and she's sitting next to her uh, new principal, Mr. Chris Arnold, and that's Ms. Tanya Reshore. Reshore, please stand up. I just want to thank you um, for allowing me to return to Central, and I look forward to working with Mr. Arnold and faculty and staff. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and the second administrator we're introducing tonight, uh, along with her new principal, is in the audience tonight, Ms. Amy LeBlanc. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. I am so excited to have the opportunity to work with Dr. Lorraine, the faculty and staff at Galliano, the students in the community. Um, I think my future looks bright at GES. You're right. Yes. I knew you were going to say something. I knew it. But I'm going to get the final train. You're a great person. She is. We love her already. B, to approve, consider approving the calendar for the 2020-2021 school year. Mr. Barry. Superintendent Martin, President Huxman, and members of the board. Each school district must adopt a school calendar for the upcoming year. The state law mandates a school calendar that must feature a minimum of 63,720 minutes of instructional time for students. This equates to a minimum of 360 minutes per day. It also mandates 182 working days for teachers. If you will refer to our proposed calendar for the 2021 school year, you will see that it features 65,625 minutes of instructional time at 375 minutes per day, which is well above the minimum instructional minutes required. This allows us to build five days emergency time so that if schools have to close due to emergency situations, we will not have to make up those days. Please be aware that in the event of school closures beyond the five days, holidays could be eliminated at the discretion of the superintendent to meet the minimum number of instructional days. Professional days will once again consist of whole days. There will be a total of five professional days, beginning on August 3rd and 4th, September 8th, October 13th, and January 19th. The calendar also features two teacher records days, one on Wednesday, August 5th, 2020, and one on Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. With this total, our teachers will have the mandated 182 working days. Students first day of school will be on Thursday, August 6th, 2020, and the last day of school, Monday, May 24th, 2021. The holiday schedule is totally in pain. Finally, the calendar has been approved by our superintendent and curriculum committee 
and I present it to you for adoption for the 2021 school year. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Do I have a motion to approve the calendar? Motion by Mr. Barry Plazo, second by Mr. Randy Schwartz. Is there any public participation? Any board participate? Any board discussion? Uh, yes, uh, I, I thought the last day was uh, Friday, May 27th. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with the record date of the 25th, but that's still before Memorial Day, right? So Memorial Day on this year is actually the 31st. That's wow. Very good. Yeah. Oh, okay. that, that's yeah. why you were asking. Yes, 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 exactly. And I know our teachers will appreciate that. Yes, sir. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bernard. Any further discussion? Statue. Statue. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bernard, that would be one handsome statue, I'm sure. Uh, no, no, no. Don't ask my wife. They, uh, I had a motion and a second. Um, <coughs> there was no public discussion. Any further board discussion? Mr. Uh, Dufresne. Thank you. Um, so one of the policies that we just adopted was so that students and faculty and staff can have off on election day. So they will have that off this year because schools are being used as voting precincts. I also want to thank Ms. Annette Fontana, our clerk of court, who has been going to the high schools to help register <coughs> students to become uh, registered voters and participate in this election. So hopefully that holiday won't just be to sleep in late, but also to be an active participant in the voting process. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Duke Brady. Any other discussion? If not, we'll vote. The motion passes unanimously. C to consider authorizing advertisement <coughs> bids on the following items by the Child Nutrition Department throughout the 2020-2021 school year as the need arises in compliance with the regulations of the State Department of Education, A, milk and milk products, B, bread, C, all other food items, D, janitorial and paper products, E, cleaning of grease traps, F, concentrated detergents. Do I have a motion? Motion by Ms. Tina Babin, second by Ms. Randy Schwest, Ms. Laura Fletcher. Superintendent Martin and Pleasant Post and members of the board. Uh, I think we've all been around, we've all been here at least one year. Uh, every year in February, I come before you to get your approval. This is a formality so that we can go out uh, with all of our bids for all of our food and supplies for next year. Thank you, Ms. Fletcher. Is there any public participation? Any board discussion? If not, we'll vote. <coughs> We're going to do a hand vote. All in favor? Motion passes unanimously. 13 votes. D. To consider authorizing advertisement for bids on small equipment and large equipment needed by the Child Nutrition Department throughout the 2020 2021 school year as the need arises in compliance with current bid laws. Do I have a motion? Motion by Ms. Mary Petita, second by Mr. Barry Blazons. Ms. Lauren Fletcher. Yes. Um, just to give a little statistics, as you well know, we feed around 4,500 students breakfast every day uh, and around 10,500 lunch meals every day. So this process starts for us uh, year-round, but we start working on maybe planning at least six to seven months in advance, start going out with our bids. Uh, we will be advertising for bids uh, sometime in April, and then we open our first week in May, and that's kind of how it works. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you, Ms. Fletcher. Is there any public participation? Charles, I'm sorry. I'm good. <laughs> any board discussion? If not, we'll vote. <coughs> Motion passes unanimously. For <coughs> your resolutions. A, Mr. Albert King, retired school bus driver, Ms. Cheryl Thomas. Mr. Albert King will retire 
hired by the LaBush Parish School District on August 17, 1992 as a school bus driver. Mr. King retired September 10, 2012, having served the LaBush Parish District for a total of 20 years. I move that this resolution be adopted by general consent and that a copy of this resolution be recorded on a special page of our minute book. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. B, Ms. Anna Louise Rodrick, retired teacher, Ms. Tina Babin. Ms. Anna Louise Rodrick was hired by the LaBouche Parish School District on August 17, 1952, as a teacher at Shackley Elementary School. Ms. Rodrick also taught at Thibodeau Upper Elementary School, Thibodeau Junior High School, and West Thibodeau Junior High School during her career. Ms. Rodrick retired on June 1, 1974, having served the LaBouche Parish School District for a total of 22 years. I move that a resolution be adopted by general consent and that a copy of this resolution be recorded on a special page of our minute book. Thank you, Ms. Babin. C, Ms. Connie St. Pierre, Child and Nutrition Technician, Mr. Randy Schwest. Thank you, Madam President. Ms. Connie St. Pierre was hired by the Bush Parish School District on August 5, 2005, as a Child Nutrition Technician in Central Bush High School. Ms. St. Pierre passed away on January 19, 2020. She served in the Bush Parish School District for a total of 14 and a half years. I move that this resolution be adopted by general consent and that a copy of this resolution be recorded on a special page in our minute book. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Schwartz. D, Ms. Ruth, Ma Ruth Mathern, retired child and nutrition technician, Mr. Joey DePlanis. Ms. Ruth Mathern was hired by the Lafouche Parish School District on August 24, 1977, as a child nutrition technician at Bayou Blue Elementary School. Ms. Mathurin retired on December 17, 1994, having served the LaFouche Parish School District for a total of 16 and a half years. I move that this resolution be adopted by general consent and that a copy of this resolution be recorded on a special page of our minute book. Thank you, Mr. Plantis. Let the record reflect that these resolutions were adopted by general consent and will be recorded on a special page in our minute book. 11, tentative dates for future meetings. Insurance Committee, Wednesday, February 19, 2020. B, Finance Committee meeting, Wednesday, February 19, 2020. Academics Committee meeting, Wednesday, February 19, 2020. Policy and Procedure Committee meeting, Thursday, February 20th, 2020. Transportation Committee meeting, Thursday, February 20th, 2020. Land and Facilities Management Committee meeting, Thursday, February 20th, 2020. G Advisory Committee, <coughs> Monday, March 2nd, 2020. And H Regular School Board meeting, Wednesday, March 4th, 2020. Due to the LSBA convention, we have moved all Tuesday meet committee meetings to, the Thursday, Febu to Thursday, February 20th. Is there any further discussion from the board? If not, we are adjourned. Excuse me, Mr. Plaisance, I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to say one thing. Mr. Newfriend, it was truly an honor to serve with you for 12 years. And the service that you provided for our parish, our, our educators, administrators, and our students, most of all. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Plaisance. Ms. Fertitta? I just want to remind the people at home that are watching and the people in the audience that you know, it seems like we went through this long agenda very, very quickly, but we will all, just about all of us have been at all of the committee meetings and listened to the discussions and brought up all of the, the, the pros and the cons of these. So I just want to let people know that even though the agenda looked very long, it looks like we just ran through it. There's been a lot of discussion and um, with it. So just want to remind you that. Plenty of phone calls and late nights at the school board office, yes. definitely. Um, before we adjourn, I think Ms. Uh, Cheryl Thomas is going to miss Mr. Dufresne both of them. Yes, I am. I'm just not saying that because I don't want to cry. But he was, <laughs> he, um, was, yeah, he was a good friend to me on my, my party. Was? And he would come on my computer. <laughs> my computer would be blown up. And the mint started with him putting mints under my tray every time I was here. And I will truly miss him. Hey, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Thomas. Anybody else? 
Ms. Delafon. I know it, it uh, was a short stick with him on the board, but he's a good friend uh, from back home. Well, I've known Troy for a long time, and uh, from my from when, when I was an uh, admiral for the Old Men of Fushon Talking Rodeo, he was working at the port, and uh, he's held positions for the Old Men of Fushon Talking Rodeo. He's been very active in our community, not only with the school board, but in many areas, and he's been a tremendous asset to our community. Thank you. Congratulations, Troy. Enjoy the police department.